Quavo is breaking his silence on the shocking fight with Offset at the Grammy Awards, and rumors are going around that Quavo feels Offset and Cardi betray takeoff. New details are starting to emerge about the physical altercation between Quavo and Offset at the Grammys. And while some fans are taking sides, others are saying both Quavo and Offset disrespected Takeoff. So what really went down at the Grammys? Why does Quavo still feel so much animosity towards Offset and Cardi? Let's break it down. So we just stand on loyalty, you know what I mean? We stand on real deal, real deal loyalty. And you know, sometimes that shit ain't displayed. You would think that after what happened to Takeoff, Quavo, Offset, and Cardi would become closer than ever. But sadly, it looks like whatever bad blood they had between them, it only got worse after Takeoff died. Quavo and Offset recently got into a fight at the Grammy Awards shortly before Quavo performed a tribute to Takeoff. And according to sources close to Quavo, he still thinks Offset and Cardi never liked Takeoff. To give you some context, Takeoff died on November 1st, 2022, after being shot during an altercation at a bowling alley in Houston, Texas. Takeoff and Quavo attended a private party at the bowling alley, and Quavo reportedly got into it with several people over a dice game. Houston police later stated that at least two guns were fired during the altercation, and Takeoff's record label, Quality Control, released a statement saying that Takeoff wasn't the intended target and that he was killed by a stray bullet. Takeoff was an innocent bystander who was literally at the wrong place at the wrong time, which makes his death even more heartbreaking. Fans thought Takeoff's senseless death would bring his bandmates, Quavo and Offset, closer. But if anything, it looks like there's even more hate on both sides. Rumors about Migos feuding first started flying around early 2022, when Quavo began teasing his new collab project with Takeoff. In May of last year, Quavo and Takeoff released their first single, Hotel Lobby, and just days later, both Offset and Cardi unfollowed Quavo and Takeoff on Instagram. The rumors about Migos breaking up reached a boiling point in June last year, when the group pulled out of their scheduled performance at the Governor's Ball in New York. In the meantime, reports also started to emerge that Quavo's ex-girlfriend, Saweetie, slept with Offset. And while these rumors were never confirmed, Quavo and Takeoff dropped the track Messy, and Quavo seemingly referred to Saweetie sleeping with Offset behind his back. There was a lot of speculation back then that Cardi took Offset's side, even though he cheated on her. And several sources claimed that she pulled some strings to get Saweetie removed from the remix of Glorilla's viral hit, FNF. In case you didn't know, back in May, Saweetie announced on Instagram that she will appear on Glorilla's track. However, when the remix was released in September, it turned out her verse was scrapped. It didn't take long before fans started speculating that Cardi used her industry connections to blackball Sweetie over allegations that Saweetie slept with Offset. And then just weeks later, Quavo and Takeoff appeared on the Big Facts podcast and they finally addressed their rumored beef with Offset. While they didn't confirm or deny that Migos was breaking up for good, Quavo said he and Takeoff want to continue as a duo. Speaking of just fans, would there be more Migos? Would there be a culture for like what kind of space? What, what, where is that space? Do you be a culture for or more music was said or what, what kind of like where are y'all at with that space? I just feel like we want to see our career as a duo, you know what I'm saying? Quavo also denied that their label, Quality Control, had anything to do with Migos becoming a duo and claimed the main issue was the lack of loyalty from the other side. You know, we just came from a loyal family, you know what I'm saying? We're supposed to stick together. And, you know, sometimes when shit work out, it ain't, it ain't meant to be, you know, so. As for Takeoff, he didn't rule out working with Offset again in the future. He said that only time will tell. We put it back together, or have you do it? Like we, you know what I'm saying? We pray so only time will tell. But you know, we we always family now. Ain't nothing gonna change. But sadly, there wasn't enough time for Takeoff and Offset to make amends because Takeoff passed away less than a month later. Shortly after Takeoff's wake on November 10th, Quavo took to Instagram to share an emotional note addressed to his late nephew. Quavo talked about growing up with Takeoff and wrote, "You never competed with me." We were always on the same team. Quavo went on to say that Takeoff was always the quietest, most unbothered person in the world who never raised his voice to argue with anyone and didn't care at all about being in the spotlight. He never worried about titles, credit, or what man got the most shine. That wasn't him, Quavo wrote. Now, some fans took this as subtle shade at Offset because there were rumors going around that Offset started thinking he was bigger than the team and that he let his ego get the best of him. As for Offset's reaction to Takeoff's death, he broke his silence 
about the tragedy a few days after Quavo and said his pain was unbearable. And you could tell from his message he had a lot of remorse over not resolving his issues with Takeoff while there was still time. I hope you can see how much we love you and miss you, Offset wrote. You left a hole in my heart that will never be filled. Now, when it comes to Cardi, she was actually the first one to address what happened to Takeoff. And she didn't just talk about her own feelings, but also wrote about how the whole family was affected by this senseless tragedy. Takeoff, your untimely passing has brought a great deal of pain and sorrow to many lives, Cardi wrote. The emptiness your brothers are feeling is unbearable, and I pray that you give Offset, Quavo, and your friends and family the strength to keep going as they are trying to cope with this loss. Cardi also said it hurts her to look at old photos and videos of all three Migos together, writing, it hurts because I know it will never be the same again, but I know your bros and y'all fans will make sure the world never forgets the impact you made. However, it looks like Quavo and Offset still haven't found a way to put their differences aside, and Cardi is now once again being forced to act as a mediator. On Sunday, February 5th, Quavo performed an emotional tribute to take off during the In Memoriam section at the Grammy Awards. Quavo was joined on stage by Atlanta-based gospel group Maverick City Music, and they performed Quavo's song Without You, which he wrote following Takeoff's death. The rapper sat in front of an empty chair and a mic that held Takeoff's chain as he rapped the lyrics. He was also joined on stage by Atlanta-based gospel group Maverick City Music. But unfortunately, this touching performance has now been overshadowed by the news that Quavo got into a physical altercation with Offset just moments before he took the stage. Footage emerged of Offset being escorted off the premises following the altercation. However, according to TMZ, it was Quavo who started the fight. Hold me down. TMZ also reported that the altercation happened because Quavo blocked Offset from joining him on stage to pay tribute to Takeoff. Apparently, Offset asked to be a part of the tribute, but Quavo refused and the argument suddenly escalated. Offset later took to Twitter to deny he was fighting his brother. However, the footage of the incident released by Entertainment News showed otherwise. While the actual fight wasn't filmed, Cardi can be heard in the background trying to break it up and screaming at Offset and Quavo that they're both in the wrong. Both of y'all wrong! Both of y'all! Now, as for Quavo, sources are saying that his real issue with Offset and Cardi is much deeper than the situation at the Grammys, and he reportedly feels that Offset and Cardi weren't loyal to Takeoff while he was still alive. One fan tweeted, Offset chose Cardi over Takeoff and Quavo for real. Yes, you have to be loyal to your wife, but you didn't have to on your day ones. He broke their hearts a long time ago. However, another fan replied saying Quavo is just as much to blame because he disrespected Takeoff's memory by fighting Offset. Let's get this straight. If Offset was ever asked to do a tribute to Take with Quavo, he wouldn't say no, the fan said. Offset is not the problem. Quavo is. Quavo's still acting like Lil B at his big grown age. And then there are also a lot of fans who are refusing to take sides on this and saying Cardi is the only one who's being mature about this. I'm here for her correcting them both for whatever the reason one fan wrote on Twitter. You can tell she cares and everyone's just hurt. They'll get it together eventually, just pray for them. But let's hear your opinions on this. What do you think is the real reason Quavo can't make amends with Offset and Cardi? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to click on the next video.